Dear attorney, you and only you are responsible for you getting a job. Your career development office, not responsible for you getting a job, not terribly good at it either. So my name is Marco Brown. I own Brown Family Law in Salt Lake City. And I just wanna tell you that if you sit there and want your career development office to help you find a job or lean on them to help you find a job, you're gonna be sorely disappointed. The vast majority of career development offices are really not good at what they do. And I know that's going to upset some administrators out there. And there are some schools that are extraordinarily good at, uh, at helping place attorney or law students and helping them you know, get jobs after law school. There are like 15 in the country, maybe 20 in the country that are really good at it. Once you get outside the top 15, it, with the exception of a couple schools outside the top 15, you know, a few schools outside the top 15, they're really not very good at it. So this is your responsibility. You need to figure out how you're going to get a job and you need to implement a plan to get a job, okay? So should you use the career development office? Sure, why not? Try it. Maybe, maybe lightning strikes for you, but you should, that should be a layer, okay? The base is what you do. The base is your behavior and your actions to get a job, and then you layer on a little bit of career development office to see if they might be able to help you out, okay? So really, you should be networking with attorneys, reaching out to attorneys on you know, LinkedIn or in your community. You should be volunteering for organizations uh, lawyer organizations. So for instance, I was head of the Federalist Society in law school. I met tons of attorneys in the Federalist Society. Maybe you're an ACLU person. Good on you. Go, go volunteer at the ACLU. Meet those attorneys, okay? Maybe you, whatever it is, the bar associations. Volunteer as much as you can to be around attorneys and network with them. And then reach out to them, again, via LinkedIn, or maybe you do it on email, in your community, have lunch with them, whatever. That should be your base, okay? That should be your base to find a job because the more you network, the more likely it is that you're going to be able to find a job because you are going to get yourself out of obscurity. You're gonna get known by attorneys. And the more known you are, the more likely they are to help you find a job after you get out of law school. And then there are some other tips and tricks to, uh, to getting a job, but really the networking is the base. And then maybe later on, like I said, some career development office help. Tell them what you would like, tell them what you're thinking about, maybe again, lightning strikes for you. But do not, please, do not rely on them. Okay, rely on yourself. Take the time, you should be spending hours every week reaching out to attorneys, having lunch with attorneys, emailing attorneys, networking, doing whatever you can with them, and then you can talk to the career development office. But you are ultimately responsible, so act like you're responsible for you getting a job after law school. Okay, until next time.